Hey family, it's your sis Lisa. I hope you're doing well. So, I don't know if some of y'all may or may not know, but I have started getting my Masters of Divinity. It's going really great. I've really been enjoying myself. But there are some things I'm learning and some point of views that I'm learning that I wanted to share. So I figured I'd talk about them here on my YouTube channel. The first thing I want to talk to you guys about today is the word yoke. I ain't gonna hold y'all. It wasn't from school, but I was reading a book and I learned the word yoke and I said, I didn't know this what that word meant. I honestly, when I would read it in the Bible, would kind of glaze over it because I got what we were talking about based on context clues, you know what I mean? And at one point, I may or may not have thought it had to do with an egg. I ain't gonna hold y'all. But recently I figured it out, so I wanted to share with you guys what it really means and why it's important. So a yoke is a wooden cross piece that is fastened over the necks of two animals and attached to the plow or cart that they are to pull. So basically when people are going places, you know, you hook up the donkeys into the yoke, they pull the thing, you know what I mean? Or we gotta carry some heavy stuff, but I ain't trying to carry it on my back because we going on a long journey, you know what I mean? So let's get this yoke together on these animals and pull it. So that's basically what a yoke is. And one of the things I've learned from school is the importance of reading scripture, not from like where we are today. Because if y'all ask me, you know, oh, go find me a yoke, I would go to a farm and maybe it'd be there, but I don't know. So you know what I mean? If I read it with just what I know now in the world we live in now, that would make no sense, low key. But if I read it from the context of like, okay, they had to do that. They had to have animals that would pull their stuff. They had to have donkeys and had to have like different cattle and things like that to pull their stuff from where they were going because they didn't have cars, obviously. So that's just one thing I would encourage you guys to do moving forward is just think about when this was written and the audience they were addressing. You know what I mean? Because the audience would understand, okay, yoke, got you, heard you, son. But like, that's not really our story. You know what I mean? So that's one fun thing that I've learned recently. So now I want to get into some of the scriptures that I enjoy that have the word yoke in it. So when I said yoke, y'all probably thought about 2 Corinthians 6.14, which is the one about being unequally yoked. Do not be yoked together with unbelievers. For what do righteousness and wickedness have in common? Or what fellowship can light have with darkness? My, my. Do not be unequally yoked. I thought about that. If you think about it in context of what this must have been like as a mental image for the people hearing this, can you imagine a donkey and a bull being paired together on one of them yokes? That don't make no sense. How are we going to get anywhere? The height difference is off. Like, it's not going to work. So that was one context that really I was just like, Phew. You can't go anywhere when you are not at the same level, you are not on the same page, you are not in the same agreement with somebody. Because where are we going? What are we going to accomplish? Absolutely nothing. We just going to, one, look silly, two, and we're not going to get anywhere. Not very far anyways, because if you even think about it, a cow's uh, or a bull's legs be much longer than a donkey's legs. So we're not even in the same stride with each other. We're not even moving at the same pace. So when you think about it in a more like, what did this actually say literal sense? It like kind of makes a lot of sense for life. If you are not on the same page as somebody when it comes to, let's say even believing in God, how are we gonna get far with each other? I'm gonna be up here believing in God. You're gonna be like me trying to catch, get you to catch up. Cause you're like, oh, believe this, oh, believe that. But like, we're just not at the same level. We're not moving at the same pace. And that wouldn't make no sense. Wouldn't get you very far. In friendship, Hey, if you're there to help somebody, you're there to motivate somebody, that's lit. Let that happen. You know what I mean? Be there for that person. But let's say someone, when it comes to this scripture, you're talking about being married to someone. That could be a lot harder to do than just being friends with somebody and just being able to motivate them. You can motivate somebody, but if we gotta be in a household together, we gotta, you know, uplift each other, like we don't have the same source, that's a little rough. Where are we going? We, gonna get, we ain't gonna get there, you know, at the same pace. You know what I mean? So another scripture I wanna share with you guys, which may be one of my favorite like references of the word yoke, is Matthew 11, 28 through 30. So it says, then Jesus said, come to me all of you who are weary and carry heavy, heavy burdens and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, let me teach you because I am humble and gentle at heart and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy to bear and my burden and the burden I give you is light. 
So, let me look at just the, first of all, how beautiful. He got, Jesus just wants to be there for us. It's easy to be with him. It's easy to love him. He loves us. Like, that's my first thought about that scripture. And I, I just love Jesus and God and the Holy Spirit is just great. Anyways, <laughs> I get excited. So, when it comes to that scripture, it's talking about the yoke is easy to bear. You know what I mean? So it's like being bound to Jesus isn't hard. It's easy. It's not like being bound to someone who's trying to pull you for no reason and just like it's rough and it's hurting your neck and it's like pulling you in a direction you don't want to go. It's you're walking with Jesus. You know what I mean? It's loose around your neck. We strolling, you know what I mean? If you want to run, he running with you. You want to stroll? We can stroll, baby. What you want to do? Like, you know what I mean? I just really just love the idea of like his yoke is easy. You know what I mean? So clearly I could talk about God all day. So I'll definitely be sharing more of that on my channel. You guys can subscribe, like this video, whatever you want to do, share it with a friend, hit me up. I love to talk with you guys on social media, on Instagram specifically, probably the best way to reach me. So yeah, I appreciate you guys for watching. I love you. We're fam, so hit your sis up. Let's talk. Let's get to know each other. You need help with something? I got you, sis. Like, I got you, bro. Like, let's talk. All right. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. Bye.